Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video on Supergirl Season 6. Today we're going to be talking about some new promo photos that they released for next week's episode, which feature Kara with a surprise Kryptonian character. And also we're going to be going through some set photos because there are so many. I'm sure you guys saw a lot online over the past few days. We need to break them down because Mr. Mix's Piddlick is back and there is a new villain that is somehow linked to Mixie and literally the whole of Team Supergirl is out on the streets of National City including Supergirl in these scenes that they were shooting over the last couple of days. So if you do go on to enjoy the video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year. Okay so yeah there was so much over the past few days. And we're just catching up on it right now. If you've missed any recent videos, including my Supergirl premiere review, go check it out. I also broke down the trailer for episode 2. Now we're going to be talking about the photos first. And then we'll go over to the set photos for season 6 episode 11 of Supergirl. Because they filmed so much. And Canada Graphs, this is all coming from him. He released so many photos and we're going to be going through his blog after we go through the promo photos for episode 2 of season 6 of Supergirl. Okay, so without further ado, let's go ahead and get into this. They've released 5 extra photos for episode 2. We did a breakdown the other day talking about the photos that they did previously release for episode 2. This episode is going to be heavy on Alex, whilst it's also going to be very big on Supergirl in the Phantom Zone. And these photos back that up. So the first photo they released is of Kelly and she is talking to a mystery character who in a video the other day we exclusively revealed on the DC TV show is going to be a character named Silas. Now this character is an alien and he's going to be helping out Team Supergirl. He's going to be popping up in a couple of episodes. He is a recurring character. I'm not sure if he's going to be like a major part of Team Supergirl but he's going to be frequently coming to the tower and helping them. He is somehow linked to what is going on and so he's going to be played by Claude Melton and that's who you can see on the left of this photo. So Kelly is talking to him here so I'm not sure how they first come in contact. However according to the synopsis and as you can see in this photo Alex is reaching a breaking point. This comes as last episode her sister is trapped in the phantom zone and it has obviously affected her really badly and according to the synopsis which says meanwhile Supergirl and the team are faced with a challenge unlike anything they've ever dealt with before and it brings Alex to her breaking point. That challenge is the fact that Supergirl is gone, she is stuck in a different dimension and they've got to get her back but Alex is obviously taking a brunt of this because she is so deeply connected with Kara and maybe she's not very optimistic and so in this photo they've released you can see this, it's all over her face. And you see like a bunch of takeaway food, I think it's like sushi in front of her and you've got Kelly as well just looking at her and probably supporting her. So it's going to be a big ordeal for Alex over the next couple of episodes as she tries to come with the fact that Kara is away, however we are going to save her. So I think at first she's going to be quite hopeless and you're going to see her reaching her breaking point in this episode and Kelly is definitely going to be there for her as you can see in the photo. But let's move on to the next couple of photos. Now, these are really interesting because this reveals the mystery man, not Silas, but another character that we also exclusively revealed on the channel that Jason Bear, who you can see on this photo on the right, is in fact playing Zorel. Who is Zorel? Zorel is Kara's father. We've seen him in the show before. However, he has been recast. Now, obviously, there are theories going around that he is going to be a villain. And I really do think he is going to turn out to be a villain or somehow linked to the main villain because he does not look like Kara's real dad. He doesn't look the right age. I mean, they can be like five to 10 years difference max, but no way are they like 20 plus years difference in age. So I don't know. I've got a feeling this is something to do with Crisis and normally they cast to the right age. But Jason Baird looks really young. He looks like a similar age to Melissa. So could he be an alternate version of Zor-El? I think this is very possible. And we have to account into the fact, how the hell did he get to the Phantom Zone? How did he survive Krypton's destruction? We don't know. It must be noted that he wouldn't age inside the Phantom Zone. But still, the version of Zor-El we saw in the past was like a lot older, at least in terms of looks. So I think there is definitely a twist coming and people have theorized because episode one was titled Rebirth and she went into the Phantom Zone, that being Kara of course. This kind of set up her storyline 
and what if it is like the Rebirth storyline in Supergirl Rebirth where Zor-El turns out to be the villain. I definitely buy into that theory, I really like that. But as you can see in this photo right here, Supergirl is stumbling across Zor-El for the first time. She is seeing her father, or at least a version of her father, alive and well. Well, maybe not so well because he is lying here, presumably knocked out, or he could just be sleeping. But Supergirl inside the Phantom Zone has stumbled across Zor-El. Now this is super, super exciting. You can see Supergirl here kind of shocked and looking at him like, hmm, what is going on here? Is this my father? A similar reaction to that in whatever way it comes across. But you see the next shot and so this is again all inside the Phantom Zone and this was all shot in January when Melissa came back. And so they had like a month of filming just Melissa's scenes with a couple of extra characters including evidently Jason Bear's Zorrell character. And so this is going to be happening side by side with Alex and Team Supergirl stuff back on Earth, which is heavily related to what is going on in the Phantom Zone because they're going to be actively trying to get Supergirl out. So we see this photo, Jason is here, he looks really cool. He's in his Kryptonian getup, it's some sort of maroon like overall jacket, maybe like a kind of cape or like a cloak I would say. And you can tell the setting is very alien. They've created this Phantom Zone set. And Supergirl is here looking at Zorel, and they are talking, presumably, for the first time. So it seems like he has been stuck in here. I don't know if he's like a prisoner. I can't really tell if he's locked up or if he's just standing here. But we move on to the next photo, and this pretty much confirms yes, he is a member of the House of El. He is 100% Zorel. And this was the main reason why we were theorizing this character who was showing up and did show up in some behind the scenes videos they released who was wearing a blue Kryptonian getup was Zorel is because Zorel wore that in the past when we seen him on the show obviously it was a different actor however it's the same getup and he is wearing it right here you can see the House of El crest on his chest and he is wearing that same cloak and so he is up and he is interacting with Kara so I really can't wait to see these interactions and the dynamic that they have in the Phantom Zone. And so we know for a fact that when Supergirl escapes the Phantom Zone, he's going to be coming with her. So they obviously establish a strong bond and she takes him back to Earth and is like, yes, welcome to Earth and these are my friends. However, like we said, we've been theorizing about him turning on Supergirl because he's an alternate version of zor and isn't the normal zor -El. Obviously, this is just theorizing. But what happens if he turns on her when he gets to Earth and it was all a scheme just to escape the Phantom Zone? So what do you guys think about all of this? Do these photos get you really excited because they get me really excited? But for now, let's move on to the set photos. And so this comes from Canada Graphs' blog, which has so many more photos, but we're going to be showing about eight or so photos in this video. Is in the link in the description below. Also, go follow him on Twitter, at Canada Graphs, if you want to stay up to date when he posts new set videos and new set photos. So, thank you to him for sharing these photos with me. Okay, so this is for Supergirl Season 6, Episode 11. I don't know the exact title, I don't think it's been released. However, this was filmed over the last few days and there was so much going on. It was a hectic two-day shoot. And so, they took over a whole street, they took over a whole park. And there were so many photos that have been released online. So I'm sure you guys have seen like a bunch of photos. However, Canada Graphs has like a huge range of photos that he was able to get whilst he's on the set for those two days. Okay, so let's start out with the first day. And I'm going to accompany some photos along with what I'm going to be saying from his blog. Okay, so on this day, they started out on the street, surrounding the park. So it's like right next to the park scenes you're going to see later. And in the morning, they had a pile of debris, smashed up cars, some fire, emergency vehicles scattered around, multiple large explosions with fireballs reaching about 10 to 15 feet in the air, and eventually several stunt scenes. They had the car stunt doubles come in for some reaction shots for the explosions for a couple of takes, and they came in with one shot with the actual cast reacting to the explosion. So that already pretty much sums up how crazy it was. But you can see like various photos on the screen right now. Right here we've got a look at 
Obviously, Brainy is here, Supergirl is here, and Sentinel. Alex's new superhero name, so Alex is here, and you can see she's actually upgraded her suit, and on her left arm, she has the new emblem that you saw last episode. That's a great shout from Canada Graphs, he actually spotted that. And so here's another photo of Melissa and Kyla, Supergirl and Alex reunited, and shooting one of these scenes. You can see them looking off into the distance, and so... Let's go back to the blog. So, Supergirl was there, Alex was there, Martian Manhunter was there, Dreamer was there, Brainy was there, and also there was another character played by an actress named Peter Sargent. And so once we get to the back half of this blog, we're going to talk about who she's actually playing because this mystery character is very important and I believe she is actually the villain for this episode and what is happening. And also we have the return of Mr. Mixes Pilik played by Thomas Lennon, who appeared in Supergirl's 100th episode as the recast version of Mixie. Super exciting to have him back, we'll get to the Mixie stuff in just a second, because we do have a bunch of really cool photos to go over. And so next they did a scene where Supergirl is mimicking that she is being choked as the heroes rush in to support her. He says, again, no clue what made that happen or how it ended, they did not seem to film the scene for long and moved on to setting up for the next one. So we have an accompanying photo right here. You can see Melissa mimicking getting choked. And so this definitely gives me Darth Sidious vibes. It's like this person, this villain that we're going to be getting to in a second, has the ability to strangle from across the other side of the field. So they were shooting that scene and it's very obvious that this villain that they're facing is very, very powerful. We have a few extra photos around the same time. We got this one of Melissa on the street. They were doing some stuff on the street. And so here she is smiling. It's a great photo. This is obviously a behind the scenes photo between takes. But they were out on the street basically and they were just having some fun and obviously they were shooting this big kind of action scene against this obviously extremely powerful enemy. And so in the meantime, what also was happening separately was Dreamer and Brainy were doing a scene together where Dreamer is pretending she's pulling on a rope and getting dragged along. And Brainy comes rushing to her side with the canister that he was carrying around throughout parts of the day with him. In it, Brainy yells, Dreamer, no, before he rushes over to her. And when he gets beside her, she yells at him, what are you doing? So it seems like Team Supergirl is having fights left, right and center with this extremely powerful villain. And so this villain is 100% linked to Mr. Mixus Pidalik. And we're going to move on to that in just a second. But take a look at this last photo from this section of the day. And so this is a really great photo. You've got Team Supergirl right here, obviously excluding Brainy, but he's just off frame. This really showcases the kind of scope that they were going for. They got police cars in the background. The whole team is suited up. Literally, they need all the forces that they can to take on whatever they are taking on. So let's move on to the next part of Canon de Graf's blog. So this is the mixy stuff. Here's our first look of Thomas Lennon and Melissa filming together as Supergirl and Mr. Mixes Piddalik. He's got his crazy hair going on, like it's kind of like a pixie kind of hairstyle. This is a really, really great photo from Canada Graphs. And so by this point, they actually moved to the park, and so they were filming some scenes in the park with a mystery woman. Now, we knew that Mixie was coming back, and we didn't know what story he was going to be attached to, but it seems like this story for episode 11 is going to be heavily attached to him, because... Peter Sargent, who you can see on the screen right here, she is the actress, and at the time, people didn't know what was going on. But, Melissa, as Supergirl, was screaming, Nixil, Nixil, and in the comics, Mrs. Nixil, and I'm not saying her whole name because I really can't pronounce it, maybe I'll put it on the screen or you guys can type it up, it's basically Mixie's wife in the comics, right? She is played by Peter Sargent. This is who she's playing, and that's who you're seeing on the screen right here. So that is super exciting that they're actually jumping into Mixie's own lore, his own comic lore, which is really, really exciting. And she is 100% the one causing all the destruction that we've just been previously talking about, and that happened over these past few days of filming. And she is obviously a superpowered being just like Mixie, who 100% has the ability to cause all these explosions, and everything that you've seen in these behind the scenes photos. So in the scene, Peter's character has a round orb that she shoves in the direction of where Mixie and Supergirl are. And Mixie moves towards her before Supergirl tries intervening and playing peacekeeper. She yells at Peter's character, that being Nixil, wait, wait, 
we can work this out. As she moves closer to where Mixie was, which was about halfway between where Supergirl and Nixil were positioned. So it seems like that orb is extremely powerful and very, very important to what is happening here with Mixie, with Supergirl, and what is happening with Nixil, who is supposedly the villain. I'm not sure if she's going to turn out to be a full-on villain, but I'm very excited to see this because I really love Mr. Mix's Pillick. And we were told last season after the 100th episode that Thomas Lennon had signed on to be a recurring character, so there's a possibility that he shows up in more than one episode this season. This is his first episode that he is presumably back as far as we know, and so we've had some great photos from Canada Graphs and some great information. So I'm really excited to see him, his wife, and see what's going on with Supergirl and how Team Supergirl is actually going to stop him. And so there's this funny photo that obviously could be taken into consideration, but it's more of just a funny photo that they did because they knew that people were taking photos of them on the set. And so you see Melissa and Thomas faking a proposal here, which is just very funny and I thought I would include that at the end of this video. However, thank you guys so much for watching. Go check out Canada Graphs' blog, it's super useful and there are so many photos. I'm telling you guys, there are literally hundreds. So now is the time to go check out the blog, now the video is done. Also, if you want to stay updated, follow him on Twitter. But for now, thank you guys so much for watching. Click here to watch my latest Supergirl video and click here to watch my latest Flash video. But for now, I'll catch you guys later. Goodbye. I see red.